Hello algebra students. In chapter 11, section 5, we're, we are going to divide polynomials by monomials. So I'm going to jump right in and start working these problems. So for number 1, we have 4x squared minus 18x. That's a binomial being divided by the monomial 2x. And we have talked many times before that you can't just cancel the 2 and the 18, but you can factor out of the top. 2 and x, so that leaves us with 2x minus 9, because we've taken the 2x out of the 4x squared and the 18x, over 2x, and then the 2x's cancel, and you're left with 2x minus 9 as your simplified answer. But I want you to also see that 4x squared minus 18x being divided by 2x. They're each divided by 2x. Now someone might say, now I thought binomials were bound together by this negative sign, and they are. But because they're both over 2x, you can look at them individually. I personally think that factoring is faster, but this is one method, and I want you to be aware that you do have options. So I'm going to pick a different color to cancel. So 2 goes into 4 two times. This x cancels with one of those x's, so I have 2x left. 2 goes into 18 nine times, and the x's cancel, and so I also get 2x minus 9. So it is your personal preference which way you prefer to work these problems. Um, sometimes it's not easy to see the factor, and so it might be best to put them each over the monomial. So 48z squared plus 18z are all over 6z, so we can put them each over 6z if you'd like. And now let's cancel. This z cancels with one of the two z's. 6 goes into 48 eight times, and 6 goes into 18 three, and the z's cancel. So this leaves us with 8z, and see, don't forget that z that's there, 8z my, uh, plus 3. So if you did it the way we've been doing it, we would have had to factor out. We would have factored out a 6z. So 6z, and that leaves us with 8z plus 3 over 6z, and these would cancel, and we'd end up with the same answer. I'm going to leave 2 and 4 for you to practice on your own. The obvious next step in this progression is to divide a polynomial by a binomial. So when we have 2r squared plus 5r minus 3 over r plus 3, the first thing I hope instinctively you want to do is to factor the top. But we have a number in front of our 2r squared, so we're going to have to go back and search our memory about product sum. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. That's the product we want. And the sum needs to be a positive 5. So we are going to do regrouping. So we have 2r squared. And then multiples of negative 6 would be positive 6 and negative 1. That would add up to give us a positive 5. So we'll say plus 6r minus 1r and that takes care of our 5. We are re, re, regrouping 5 to be positive 6 and negative 1 minus 3, and that's divided by r plus 3 still. So now we are ready to do our um, grouping. So, <clears throat> all right, so we factor out from the first set the 2r, which leaves us with r plus 3. And on the second set, we factor out a negative 1, and that leaves us with r plus 3. And now we're ready to make our um, foiled factored form. So we have 2r minus 1 and r plus 3. So all of this is my numerator, and don't forget that we are originally dividing by r plus 3. And since we've now turned this whole situation into a multiplication, two binomials being multiplied multiplied together, we can now cancel the r plus 3, and we're left with 2r minus 1. So hopefully the hardest part of that whole problem was remembering how to do regrouping. So hopefully that'll come back to us 
I'm going to ask you to pause and try number two, but I will let you know if you did it correctly. So pause right here, and when you turn it back on, I'm going to have it already worked out. Did you pause? Pause it. All right, so when you break down negative 3 to multiples of negative 18, negative 6 and 3 add to give us negative 3. So that's where we have um, the negative 6c, and from there I am factoring out the 2c from the first two numbers and factored out a positive 3, and now I'm ready to regroup in factored form and can cancel my c minus 3s because I am multiplying and I have 2c plus 3. I hope you are able to do that with success. All right, long division. That's been a long time since you've done long division. So let's see, how in the world do you do long division when you're talking about polynomials? So you rewrite the problem just like you do for normal long division and you ask, x times what gives me x squared? Well, that's easy, it's x times x, but I line it up over my x value. So don't forget you have to distribute your x times the x and times the negative two, and that gives me x squared minus two x, that's what I get when I multiply, but just like in long division then, I'm going to subtract, so it means it changes both signs, and that'll get, cancel your x squared, and you'll have 9x minus 15, so now you ask x goes into 9x how many times? Positive 9, don't forget you need to now multiply it times both terms, 9 times x is 9x, 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, but we are subtracting, so when you subtract it changes both signs, your 9x's cancel and you have a remainder of 3, so just like uh, in long division, you have a positive 3, so you have a remainder of positive 3, and your divisor is x minus 2. For the sake of time, I'm going to let you try number 2 on your own, and be sure and remind me tomorrow to put that on the board, have someone put that on the board for us, because next we have to talk about long division when there are missing terms. What are we going to do when there are terms missing? So here we have x minus 5 divided into, wait a minute, it starts with x to the third and then it jumps to x without any power other than 1. So that means there was no x squared. So you need to make a representation. If it starts with x to the third, you need an x squared before you have your regular x and before you have your number without x. So had it started with x squared and jumped to 45, then you would have had 0x. So you put in um, the missing term with a coefficient of 0. Same process, x times what gives us x to the third? Well, that's going to be x squared. You line it up with your x squared. Multiply times both. So that gives me x to the third because we add our exponents minus 5x squared, but we're subtracting, and when we subtract, we have to change our signs, and then that cancels, and 0 plus 5x squared is 5x squared. Bring down your 34x. x goes into 5x squared, positive 5x, because you're going to multiply here, and that's going to add your exponents, so it's going to give us 5x squared, and negative 25, 5 times 5, x, but we're subtracting, so change your signs. So when we change our signs, we end up canceling, and we have negative 9x, and don't forget, you've got 45 to bring down now, and x times what gives us negative 9x? Well, that's going to obviously be negative 9, and I have to multiply negative 9 times both of those terms. Uh-oh, my pen's not catching. So negative 9 times x is negative 9x, and negative 9 times negative 5, negative negative makes positive 45. But don't forget, we have to subtract, and when we subtract, we change both signs. So that's plus negative 45, it's a negative 45. So this cancels, and this cancels, leaving us with no remainder. So our answer is x squared plus 5x minus 9. That's the result of our long division.
you can practice number two for me and I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you're enjoying math as much as I love math. Have a great day.